You're listening to WHPR 88.1 FM and watching us on the internet at www.fm881whpr.com. We do want to thank you for joining us here today. And our studio guest today is E Square. Yeah, y'all. Okay. What's I don't, up? Okay, I'm getting a little bit closer to the mic there. What's e. up? How you yeah. doing? Is that uh, better? Okay, you got one. Of, you got one of those really soft voices. <laughs> Not here. necessarily. Oh, okay. okay, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm almost gonna have to call you E Flight there. You oh, know, your voice kind of light. Wow. Not that I'm trying to clown or anything. Uh huh. That's, that's <laughs> Efi. This is E Square right now. Yeah. The 20th century grandma who tells it like it is. So I will get with you. All right, grandma. We're okay. Gonna leave, we're gonna leave that one alone. Mm-hmm. You know, I still got a chance to see some of your material. Uh, a while back on the Hodo show. All right. You know, when you were on there with uh with with Hodo a while back. Yes. And you are you were pretty funny. I didn't know who they were talking about at first. Okay. And everybody was talking about E square. I thought they were talking about a mathematical equation. <laughs> you know, but now now I got to meet you, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I yeah. see you didn't go to a public school because you know all about that. <laughs> <laughs> the law of relativity, you know, and everything. We're we, we going to leave the public schools alone. <laughs> you know, they, oh. they're in a little bit of trouble right now. And you know what? On my way here, I was a little concerned because um, I understand some kids went to a fight last night and uh, a dance broke out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? What kind of Cupid they got going on up in here? They must have been watching some West Side Story. Or something? <laughs> what is, ah, uh, kids fighting all around. Now, usually you go, you expect that at a hockey game, but not at a Cupid dance. What? I mean, uh, didn't these kids, I mean, learn from Chris Brown and Rihanna? I mean, that got to stop. Ooh, oh, that, that was low. That hey, was low. that's all I'm just saying. My, my ministry, I have a ministry. My Comedy is really a ministry. Okay. Uh, I want to preach to young girls and let them know um, you got to be careful when you deal with these guys, you know, because you don't know who you're messing with. Now, right. I'm sure so how many young ladies wanted to get with Chris Brown? <laughs> I bet they think thinking twice about that now. <laughs> That's why I tell all my granddaughters and any young ladies I'm running to, you got to be careful. You don't just have to have a man. Get a hobby. Read a book. Do something constructive. Uh, uh, Be special. Right. Be out there doing some construction. You got to have some construction with your life. Exactly. <laughs> Be special. They think they special because they giving up the you know what. Let them go to the special no no naughty place. No. Be special. Don't let them do that. That's what's special because they can get that anywhere. Get but some if you special wanna, training. Yeah. That's what I'm about. I want to teach them. Don't okay. go out like that. What's the name of your 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 ministry? Do you have a name for it or? Guts. Guts. Which stands for Grandparents United Together Strongly. I like Because it's going to take guts to get these kids in line. That's right. I have eight grandbabies. The oldest is 21. Nay, nay. You're looking at me like it's impossible. Now, see, this is one thing. <laughs> this is one thing. <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm glad we're on video here, you know, because for, for those of you who are watching us on the Internet, you can see how tiny this person is right here. <laughs> I had nothing to do with the grandbabies. My kids did that. I only had two kids, but they produced eight grandbabies. So like I said, I got Nene, I have David, Christian, Jade, Dana, Elena, Emily, and Daniel. And she remembered all their names. Exactly. Don't ask me <laughs> to tell you what their birth dates are. But no. <laughs> all right, right. Wait a minute. What's all, gra- what's all that ink I see on your palm? Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? Uh-uh. <laughs> you said there would be no math. But oh, no. okay. <laughs> my grandbabies, I love them dearly. But I have to get one. You know, when I first started having grandkids, oh, it was such a joy. I said, I wish I could have had grandkids first, you know, because it's so much easier. And then we, <laughs> we, have, we have the same enemy, their parents, you know. And... Uh, Oh no 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 For no! Real. Let's be, let's be nice now. I'm I'm serious. So I would get him all kind of toys that would be disruptive. You know, I gave my grandson for his first Christmas. I gave him a set of drums, and I made sure I took him to his house, so he would not disturb me. So I would do all kind of stuff like that. You know, give him things that would make noise and send him home full of sugar, so they'd be bouncing off the walls. But you know, you can't do that with kids. You, you have to teach them some discipline. So now. I have to discipline the, the younger ones especially. But um, it, it takes on different roles being a grandparent. Now, I think 
a lot of grandparents out there, we're struggling with the same thing. We don't know how to really get to the hearts of our, our grandbabies, and especially when they walk around with their pants hanging all up under their behind and stuff. And, and Chris Tucker was talking about the littles. I, I watched the Grammys last week, and Lil Wayne, um, somebody need to tell that boy. He was talking about... <laughs> You can't buy a character or a character you can't buy with money or something. I'm like, well, somebody need to tell him. Pull up your pants. I like to I like to see them when they're running from the because I used to do security. Mm-hmm. You know, I was, I was doing mall security. And we worked with the police departments. And one of the guys was trying to run from mm-hmm. an mm-hmm. officer. Mm-hmm. And it was kind of funny mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. he ran around the corner and the officer just reached out at his kneecaps and caught him by the waistline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a shame mm-hmm. when somebody reached down and just knees ridiculous. and catch you on the waistline and just lift it straight up. Just lift him up. Dude just went straight over. And, uh, and I mean, it was one of those things you wish you could have videotaped yeah. it and sent it in to America's, America's Funniest Video. video. Yeah. You could have got some money off of that. But you know, I, I have a solution what they should do. Uh oh. Round them all up. And when it's summertime, take them to campus marshes. And make them take their pants off. Since they don't want to wear them anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying. Make them just drop the drawers and everybody hit them. You know, go get some belt and everybody get a lick. Oh, man. With See. the belt. I, I think that might stop them from wearing their pants beneath their behind. Now, see, that would be too much like right. But then that might be, uh, might get some civil I was going to say, then everybody would probably be sitting up in jail then. You know, <laughs> talking about abuse, abuse. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not abuse looking at somebody. Yeah. But anyway, that, that it's, it's stuff like that just really irks me, gets on my nerves. That's what they call that, that semi-decent, indecent exposure. Exactly. You know, see, Virginia, they used to have that, that $50 law. And mm-hmm. you get caught in your pants and down and your underwear is showing or something like that, you get a $50 ticket on the spot. Right. Well, you know, Detroit ain't been doing nothing like that. There's not enough police in Detroit to come out to handle the crimes, much less. Because we do have an indecent... Uh, law on the books like when you know I, i've seen a lot of people urinating on the streets and stuff you get a ticket for that but that doesn't happen that much it needs to happen more often but if we would just enforce the laws that are on the books like all that cussing in public look kid, little kids five years old be cussing i tell them you know what show me some respect and they cuss me out cuss me out mm. i wish i had a belt to whoop they behind but you got to be careful how you whoop these kids now because they'll right. call child protective services on you in a minute I remember you could whoop them and didn't worry about going to jail. Now you can't even use um, switches or, uh, you know, extension cords. See, discipline has gotten turned out way, way too far. I know. You know, know, time out. What in the world is a time out? Time out is something that's called a basketball game. Exactly. (laughs) You know. They got all these ailments like, you know, ADHD and all that. You know what they need? B-E-A-T. (laughs) <laughs> they behind that's what they need and that's a lot of it's studies to show that that's caused because uh, children don't get enough sleep I want to know why when I call people's houses their kids are still up at 11 o'clock at night it's like okay what time do they get up to go to school that doesn't make any sense and all these kids have TVs in their room they find, made a, had a study found out that causes a lot of problems. Duh. Yeah, see, that's that's the babysitter, you know, when the parents don't right. want to be bothered, you know. Exactly. Go on to your room and watch TV. Mm-hmm. Then they and then they don't follow them in there to see what they're watching. Right. And everybody got cable nowadays, and it's ridiculous. I done fell asleep and woke up many times on Cinemax and was what? watching stuff that I didn't care to watch. You got kids. Yeah, but the kid, kids with grandma. <laughs> See, <laughs> guts, grandmas, <laughs> grandparents, united together strongly. We got to do it. We got to take back the old.